to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol, and I'm so glad you've joined us today. Coming to you from our YouTube channel, Bottoms Down Chair Yoga. And if you haven't already, if you would click that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. And leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we're going to use our chair today, but we're also going to use a strap. Now, if you don't have a strap, a yoga strap, I get it. That's fine. I understand. But you can substitute a men's tie or a belt or a strap or a scarf. So, you know, anything that's kind of got some length to it would be just fine. Now, if you have your strap with you and you're going to use that, let's go ahead and place it under our chair. But I will tell you, if you don't want to use the strap, that's just fine. It's okay, right? Not a problem. All right. So let's get started. We're going to start by lifting that heart up nice and tall. We're going to pull that belly button into the spine. We're going to flip those palms up to the ceiling. Let's go ahead and take a moment to ground those feet to the earth. So we're thinking about those four pressure points that we have behind the big toe, behind the little toe, and the two points of the heel. And let's think about having all four of those pressure points equally weighted on the earth. And now we're going to ground those sits bones. So we have those pointy bones that we sit on, and let's make sure that we have them equally weighted on the chair. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. Focus your attention on your heart center. And just breathe. Just feel your natural inhalation and exhalation. And then let's elongate that breath, inhaling a little more deeply and exhaling a little more completely. Moving into that yoga breath, we're going to extend the belly as we fill the lungs from the bottom up. And we're going to exhale as we pull that belly button to the spine and push the air up and out of the lungs. Do that two more times. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. One more breath, and release it. Very good. Go ahead and open your eyes. Let's drop that right ear to the right shoulder and just feel that stretch in the neck right here. You feel that? Nice. Let's drop our chin towards our chest. And left ear to left shoulder. Oh, yeah. I just felt my neck crack. Felt good. Let's go ahead and drop that chin back down to the sh chest. Now we're going to go ahead and look to the front of the room. Let's look over that right shoulder, just nice and gentle. We're warming things up. And look to the front of the room, and let's look the other way. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Look to the center of the room. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. And let's reverse those circles. Yeah, that feels good. Very nice. All right, let's come into a mountain pose. We're going to bring those hands down by our side. Remember, belly button is tight. Now, if you have shoulder issues, you're going to stay in this mountain pose. Or maybe you come to go post arms. Those are good options. If you're with me, we're going to take those hands straight up to the ceiling. Shoulders are down. We're trying to touch the ceiling with our fingertips. Belly is tight. One more breath and release it. Let's roll those shoulders. Let's add the breath. Inhale up. Exhale down and around. Inhale up. Exhale down and around and reverse it. Inhale up. Exhale down and around. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down and around. Very, very good. Okay, we're going to lean our mountain this time. 
So now, if you're here, you're just going to lean, right? And it's all good. If you've got goal post arms, you're going to do the same thing. All right? But if you're with me, we're taking those hands up to the ceiling. We're trying to touch the ceiling. We're going to take that one hand down, and we're going to stretch in each direction. Now you're going to put your hand on the chair, and you're going to lean into it. Oh, yeah. Let's add a twist. Turn and look up at the ceiling. Just a little baby twist. We're waking up the side waist muscles. You feel that? All right, take that twist out. Come back center. All right, let's everybody start in your mountain pose. Down we go. If you're with me, hands to the ceiling. Remember, you can keep the hands down or all goal post arms. Let's take that opposite hand on the chair. Lengthen and lean your mountain. Let's take a little baby twist. Take that twist out and up we go and roll those shoulders. Oh, yeah. Add that breath if you like it. And reverse it. Inhale here and exhale around. All right, real quick, a couple of cat and cows. Let's bring our hands down. So we want to get that spine warmed up, right? So we work. There's actually a real, there's a method to our madness. Let's move into that cat pose, rounding the chin. Excuse me, rounding the shoulders, tucking the chin. So there's a, 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 okay, lift up into that cow. What am I trying to say? A method to the madness, right? So we, we move through these opening poses in a certain way to warm up the body safely. Let's go back into that cat pose. And let's come back into cow, just taking those thumbs to the back wall. And release it. Very good. All right, let's do a little bit for the legs. We're going to open that knee nice and wide. We're going to let that knee fall down towards the floor. Push the foot behind you. Lift your heart up and breathe. Crescent lunge. Remember that knee can be down if that doesn't feel good to stretch it back behind you. Either is fine and release it. Let's do that one more time. Lifting that heart up. And release. Go ahead and face forward. Let's do that quick pyramid pose. Extend that leg out in front of you. Toes to the ceiling. Extend the spine long and let that heart fall forward. While you're down here, I want you to reach down and grab... Whoop! <laughs> I want you to grab your strap. My strap wasn't where I could actually grab it from that pose. Let's come back to the pyramid pose. Sorry about that. I should have had to grab our strap first. All right, now, if you have a strap, you're just going to put it on, on the ball of the foot. You're going to walk your hands down that strap and let that heart fall. If you don't have a strap, you're just going to do regular pyramid pose. It's okay. So all I'm doing is I'm kind of pulling gently, flexing that foot, maximizing that stretch. Oh, yeah, let's release it. All right, we're going to do the other side. I'm just going to put my strap here in my weight in my lap. So we're going to open up, let that knee fall down, push that foot back, lift your heart. Ha! Ah, feels good. Release it. Do it one more time. All right, let's face forward. Pyramid pose. Remember, you can just do it with that foot extended out, toes to the ceiling, extend the spine long, let the heart fall forward. And if you want to add the strap, we're just going to hook the strap around the ball of the foot. Walk our hands down. It will extend the spine long first. Walk your hands down gently. Ah, and I'm pulling ever so slightly to flex that foot and release it. Go ahead and put your strap under your chair. Let's grab a sip of water. All right, let's come to standing. So we're going to start on the right side of our chair, and we're going to be facing our chair, okay? 
So we're going to take the, le the foot that's next to the back of the chair, and that's the foot that's going to go underneath. And we're going to take a step back with that opposite foot, and we're going to move, turn it to that 45 degree angle, all right? So the, the thing about having the foot at that angle, so we don't want it at that 90 degree angle, right? Because your hips just cannot come around. They just really have no way. But if you turn those, that foot to where it's up at an angle, 45 degree angle, basically, now you can get those hips forward, all right? So that's the key, is getting the hips forward. We're going to go ahead and bend that front knee. You can hold your chair, that's fine. All right, you feeling it? Bending that front knee? Oh, yeah. Let's bring our hands to our heart. So think about belly to button to spine. Extend that, uh, lengthen through that spine long. Really thinking about pulling in here. So this is the key to having a, a solid warrior one. We're going to have our hands to our heart. And now we're going to inhale. And on an exhale, we're going to bring those hands to the ceiling. Shoulders are down, and we're going to move to our warrior two pose. All right. So in our warrior two, my front knee is bent. I'm, my leg is actually can touch the chair. So then we know we kind of have that stability, right? <laughs> it's nice to have it. Belly is tight. Shoulders are down. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take this hand, this left hand, and we're going to let it fall straight down to the mat, to the chair, excuse me. And here we are in a side angle pose, all right? Now, for this first one, we're going to actually use the chair. Believe me, we'll be building into this one where we'll be here. But let's start with our hand in the chair for this first one, all right? Just gives us a little more stability while we bind until we can kind of get the feel of that. So now, I want you to take the hand that's in the air and put it on your waist and lift your heart, all right? You feel that heart opening? Now, let's go ahead and extend that hand out. We're breathing here. One more breath. We're going to press through that front leg and we're going to come back up to that warrior two. Let's reverse our warrior. So we're going to flip that palm up and back. Feel that nice stretch through the side waist. Back to your warrior two. And we're going to step out of that, okay? All right, just take a moment. We're going to stay on this side, and we're going to add just the one bind using our body, not using the strap for this first one, okay? All right, so let's get back into it one more time. Take that foot, step it back, 45-degree angle, hips are forward, bend the front knee, bring that belly button into the spine, lengthen through that tailbone, bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, hands to the ceiling. All right, let's move to those goalpost arms. Now we're going to look up at the ceiling. So there we're adding a heart opening in our warrior one pose. You feel it? Heart is opening. We're looking up towards the ceiling. Shoulders stay down. One more breath. Bring those hands back to your heart. Okay, actually, let's come back up to the ceiling. That's okay. I don't mind coming to the heart first. Now, we're going to move into that warrior two. You got it? Look over those front fingertips if you can. Let's reverse that warrior up and back. Now, as we come down, we're going to place that hand in the chair and come into that side angle pose. Heart is open. The hand in the air. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bend that elbow and we're going to let that arm slide back behind us. And we're going to press the palm into the back as we lift our heart up. You feel it? I do. All right, one more breath. Now let's take that arm back out. We're going to press through that front heel as we come back into that warrior two. Let's reverse it one more time because it just feels really good. Back to warrior two, and we're going to step out in it. Okay, let's go to the other side. 
So again, the leg that's next to the back of the chair is the one that's going to come up under your chair because that just makes it where we're all going in the same direction. It's, it's not like it's any big deal, but it just helps us all go in the same direction. All right, that back foot, remember that 45 degree angle we talked about. Get those hips forward. And if you need to heel toe that front foot out a little bit so that you can get those hips around, that is just fine. Bend that front knee. Bring your hands to your heart. Pull that belly in. Lengthen through that tailbone. Inhale here. Exhale, hands to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, we're moving to that warrior two. Shoulders are down. Belly is tight. Flip that palm up and back. And now we're going to come into our side angle pose. So my right hand is going to go into the chair. My left arm is at an extension out. My heart is lifted. Ah, we're in our side angle pose. Take another breath here. Now we're going to add that bind. So the hand that's in the air, we're going to bend at that elbow and we're going to bring that hand back behind our back and we're going to press. So I'm pressing the hand into the back as I lift my heart. There's our beautiful bind. One more breath. Let's release that hand comes up. We're going to press back to that warrior two. Ah, flip that palm up and back. Back to your warrior two. And release it. Very good. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is a downward facing puppy. So we've been doing a bit of opening this direction and we haven't done just a ton of, of the opposite direction. So that's one of the things we're going to do right now. So I want you to take like a, a half of the, or a step, of, you know, one step back from the side of your chair. We're going to pull our belly button to our spine and we're going to hinge forward and we're going to place one hand in the chair and then the other hand in the chair, okay? And then I want you to come forward so that your shoulders are over your wrist. So we're not back here, we're up, all right? So that's pretty important. Now I'm going to come down onto the forearm. See how that feels. You probably are feeling the back of the of the body stretching. Do you feel that, right? Okay. So now I'm going to take a step back, pretty good sized step back with my right foot. Pull your belly button to your spine. Step back with that left foot. Now press into the uh, forearms and lift your hips up to the ceiling and here you are in a downward facing puppy. Now your heels may touch the floor, they may not, it doesn't matter. Belly is tight. I'm pressing the heart back towards my thighs. My hips are coming up to the ceiling. I am breathing. One more breath. We're going to take a step forward. Take a step forward. And we're going to roll it up nice and slow. <sighs> All right. We're going to do that again from the other side. Now, here's the thing. If that chair is wanting to slide, I would encourage you to have it on a carpet or a mat or something, right? So if your, if your chair is on just a, a, your wood floor, for example, be super careful, all right? Because So you don't want to be, you want to be pressing down anyway. That's the idea. You're pressing down, not out. But I'm, you know, just be careful. All right, so we're going to start with those feet just a, a, just a step away from the chair. We're going to hinge forward, and we're going to put one hand in the chair and the other hand in the chair. All right, ha, right, just kind of letting yourself sink into this one first. Now let yourself continue to fall forward and put your forearms on the chair. And you probably are feeling quite a stretch in the back of the legs at this point. It's all good, right? We're warm, so we can do this. All right, if you're with me, 
We're going to take a step back. Take another step back. Now, I want you to press into your forearms. Lift your hips to the ceiling. Press your heart back and just breathe into it. Let those heels fall down if they will. If they won't, that's okay. Heart is pressing back. Forearms is on the mat, I mean on the chair. We're pulling the belly button to the spine. One more breath. We're going to step forward, step forward, roll it up nice and slow. Ha! <laughs> How did that, how'd you do? All right, everybody. Let's have a seat. Whew. And grab a sip of water. Ah, how's everybody feeling? Good? All right, we're going to finish up now. Let's take that right knee. We're going to open it up nice and wide. Feel that inner thigh stretch. Now, the main thing to remember in our half lord of the fish's pose is that we don't want this knee to fold in. It's going to want to, but I want you to really try hard not to let it. All right, let's take this arm, this left arm, bring it all the way across your body. You're going to grab your chair. Lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling, and then you're going to look over the back of your chair. Let's release that and do it one more time. Come all the way across your chair. Lift and twist. And release. Crescent lunge, knee towards the floor. Push the foot behind you. Lift your heart up. One final heart opening while we're here. Let's lift that heart up. Feel that stretch. Let's release it. And we're going to do that one more time. Here we go. Back of the kneecap to the ceiling. Lift that heart up. And if you want to add those arms, you can. It's your choice. Squeezing, looking up. One more breath and release. Let's face forward. We're going to extend that leg out in front of us, toes to the ceiling. Lift the heart up and let the heart fall forward. If you want to use that strap, go for it. I'm not going to this time, but if you want to, it's great. Let's go ahead and lift the heart up, and we're going to do that one more time. Don't forget to extend first, then keeping the back flat, let the heart fall forward. And release. Good job. Okay, we're going to do our pigeon pose now. So remember, if you cross ankle to ankle, that's great. But I want you to leave this leg right where it is. Don't bring that foot in, okay? Keep that leg out and cross. Or if you're with me, I'm going to cross my ankle onto my knee. All right? Now, I'm going to extend my spine long. I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling the stretch right here. And this may be all you want. If you want a little more, you're just going to let your heart fall forward. So it's totally your choice, right? If you stay lifted, heart lifted, or let the heart fall forward. But if you keep the back flat, you're going to maximize the stretch. Go ahead and lift it up. And let's just flutter that butterfly today. All right, let's do that again. Extend the spine long and let the heart fall forward. If you want to press gently on that knee, go for it. You can even put your elbow there and put your chin on those fingers and press. It's all good, right? It's a good option. Let's release that and let's flutter that butterfly again. We're going to do it one more time. You've got options. And you can even, if you like it, you can extend those arms out towards the wall in front of you and then let them fall towards the floor. It's a good option if you like it, go for it. If you want to keep your hands on the thighs, go for it. If you got choices, don't I'm saying. And up we go. Very good. Let's put that leg down and move to the other side. Open that knee nice and wide. Remember, keep this knee open. Right hand is going to come all the way across our body. We're going to grab the chair crown of the head to the ceiling, turn and look over the back of your chair.
And let's release that, and we're going to do that again. Bring that hand across your body, lift and twist. And release. Very good. Crescent lunge. Knee to the floor. Press the foot back if you like it. Heart is lifted. We're breathing into the stretch. We're really warm so we can maximize the stretch in the front of that leg. Let's release it and then let's do that again. Adding those arms if you like it. Squeezing the shoulder blades behind us. One final heart opener today. We have worked so hard. Beautiful. One more breath and release and face forward. Pyramid pose. Extend that leg in front of you, toes to the ceiling. Lift and hinge. And remember, if you want to grab your strap and use that, do it. Let's lift that heart up and we're going to do that one more time. Extend and hinge. This would be your exhale if you want to add that breath. Oh, yeah. After that downward facing puppy, we may have a little more availability in those hamstrings today. All right, let's come up to pigeon pose. Did y'all like downward facing puppy? I love that one. All right, remember, you can be here or you can have that ankle on that knee. Extend and hinge. And up we go, and let's flutter that butterfly. Let's do that again. Extend and hinge, and if you want to press gently on that knee, you can. You can even put that elbow there if you like it. And release it, and let's flutter that butterfly. And our final version. Extend up first, and maybe you bring those hands out to the wall in front of you, and then down to the floor if you like that version. That's a great version. If you don't like that version, pick a different one. And release. All right. Let's go ahead and sit back in our chair. Place your hands lightly on your thighs. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. A deep breath in. And on this exhalation, close your eyes. Flip your palms to the ceiling. Power of thought. If your thoughts are working against you, Stop having those particular thoughts. Make the intentional choice to think other thoughts. If your thoughts are overwhelming your awareness and alertness, back away from those thoughts. You can do less thinking and analyzing and more observing, acting, and experiencing. Thinking is an extremely powerful, useful, beneficial skill. Yet, like any powerful force, it can be destructive when carried to the extreme. Your thinking is an important part of your life, yet it is not the entirety of your life. With the power of thought, you can think yourself into anything. Be sure to exercise control over that power so your thoughts lead you to positive outcomes. Don't let your thoughts get the best of you. Instead, harness them to make yourself the best you can be. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with your right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. 
Reach up with your hands and give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Remember, go to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga on YouTube. Click on that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, and I will see you next time.